Hey guys. Uh, yeah, this is part of being a, a beer reviewer. You can't keep a six pack like this intact if you're uh, just drinking and not exercising. So, you know, I like to keep a good fitness regime about me. <coughs> Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of South African Craft Beer Tasting. All right, guys, today we got a really special one. Um, this beer has been hyped probably more than almost any other beer that I can remember on the South African scene. And uh, I'm sure all of you will know it by now if you've been on Twitter or Facebook for the last couple of weeks. Um, and that's basically the Devil's Peak uh, Stone Pale Ale. Yeah, it's part of the Explorer series. That's what it looks like right there. Yeah, there was a lot of hype around it and uh, and basically um, I couldn't help myself and I went out and I uh, got it on the Saturday that was released in the special edition can. And um, as you can see, it's got some cool sort of like uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Hunter S. Thompson vibe going. It's really, really cool. I really love the style. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just actually get in there and pour it. Fantastic. Alright guys, let's talk about the style for a bit. Um, it's a pale ale. Um, everybody likes a pale ale. But then with this lovely juice sort of infusion, I mean, if you take a look at that, I mean that looks like apricot juice. Um, it's just, it's just too cool. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and smell it and see if we pick up all of that. All right, straight away I'm picking up that apricot there. That's um that's super strong in the nose, and it's really it smells delicious. Um, let me just get in there a little deeper. Ah, oh, it's got this. It's obviously got the slight citrusy notes, or as far as I can tell from the from the um, the hops themselves. It's nice, sort of a uh, little bit of a piney punch, but then it's got the apricot just coming through. It's it smells delicious. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and taste it and see if it lives up to all the hype. Right, that's got a, that's that's delicious. Um, first of all, but that's um, I just I was, I was zooming through my head. I was thinking about the the hop straight away as I put it. That's why I got a bit distracted. But that's delicious. I'm picking up definitely the apricot in there. Um, but yeah, the hops uh, a nice mild sort of hop bitterness on your on your tongue. And then as it goes down, to be honest, that's sort of subsides, and I don't pick that up too much on the finish. Mmm, yeah, that is so good. It's got sort of like a low carbonation. Um, it's like a low carbonation with a nice little, you know, slightly off-white head there. It's it's fantastic. Um, but let me just go ahead and taste it more. I still want to see if I can get more. That's extremely easy drinking. On the palate, it just you get that apricot. It's like a, a good bunch of it in there, and um, and then of course a little bit of the pale ale flavor with a nice gentle malt backbone, um, but still enough to sort of you know definitely balance it out. It's actually super balanced. That just goes down like a pale ale. It's amazing because I wouldn't say I've never been a, a like a fruit beer fan. I've had a couple that I've liked, but I, they're not my go-to beers, and I generally just, I don't rush to them. But this is kind of like one of the beers that's converted me, I actually have to say. Because tasting this, I'm going, this is a pale ale, but it's a kind of pale ale that, it's a kind of pale ale that, um, it's just got a nice, interesting spark of difference to it, and the kind of pale ale that you want to drink on a summer, or, you know, give to a friend of yours that, that's, you know, into different things and stuff. It's just got that feeling to it, and, um... Interesting enough, that was what was going through my head just now is that with this kind of texture and flavor and color, I, I, I know it would be blasphemy, but I almost thought some people like their um, their shandies, and uh, this is the kind of beer like if you had like this much of it and you shoved in a bit of Sprite or you know uh, some sort of a, a lemonade type thing, 
I can imagine some people will really dig it. I mean, it's you know the sweetness of the of the shandies aren't really my type of thing, but I think if you're into that, give it a try. I actually I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't want to waste them. I've only got two more of these left, and I wouldn't want to waste them. Um, but I think it could be quite cool for that. Delicious beer. Delicious beer. Shout out to um, to Devil's Peak for this. Um, not only was it awesome hype and everyone got really excited and there were competitions around it and different launch dates for different things and not only all that hype but actually just a great beer and I was speaking to Fraser from Fraser's Folly uh, just last night at their uh, Meet the Brewer event and he was actually saying that they, their Juicy Lucy which I haven't had and I really really want to get my hands on now he was saying it was very much like this at, in, in, in that it was a fruit infused um, beer but he said, um, you know, it, it, he said there were just rave reviews. He loved it. His friends loved it. Everybody loved it. Um, and I haven't had that yet. So I'll be sure to get my hands on it and do a test and let you guys know what I think. But yeah, I just love the whole the whole thing about it. It's just been super exciting and what a lovely beer. Um, in terms of ratings, let me just jump in there because um, I'd, I'm going to easy go with a four, a four to a four and a half on this. If it's just based on how much I'm enjoying it how drinkable it is because I could really have a few of these, these are, this is great. Um, if it's based on that, yeah, easy four to four and a half. Fantastic beer, go ahead and try to get your hands on some. Alright guys, um, thanks so much for watching and uh, yeah, and uh, please subscribe um, and, uh, and leave a comment if you've got any questions or that kind of thing. Cheers!